Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you a very special dog here in the shelter, which is Lupu. <laughs> so maybe the name is already telling it. Lupu is a very special kind of dog. He is kind of a mix between a wolf and a dog, which is also known under the name wolf hybrid. He is now eight years old and unfortunately he comes from another shelter, so we don't have that much information about him than I wish we had. So I want to talk about how can this actually happen? Well, like we all know, dogs come from wolves. Dogs and wolves share more than 99% of DNA, which is the reason why wolves and dogs are interfertile, which means that they can produce viable offspring. So puppies that can actually have puppies themselves, unlike for example, babies of tigers or lions. They can have babies together, but the babies are not fertile. Now, wolves are very fascinating creatures. And although they do have a lot in common with dogs, there are also big differences between dogs and wolves. Besides the very obvious physical differences, we have some other things that differentiate dogs from wolves. First of all, a dog reaches maturity when he is between six or eight months. Some take a little more time, but let's say that this is the average. Meanwhile, wolves can take between one year and four years to reach full maturity. Then second, wolves are much more territorial than dogs are. If another wolf comes into the territory of one wolf, they will start fighting. In order to avoid a fight, the wolves are marking the territory by urinating so that a wolf smells instantly when he enters the territory of another wolf. Unfortunately, if you would keep a wolf in your home, the risk would be very high that the wolf would start to pee on your couch or on the wall or wherever. Then wolves are very social animals. I mean, dogs are too, but wolves are even closer to their pack and their pack is much more important than it is to a dog. Now, you might think that a wolf would be a very good guard dog, but this is not true. A wolf would be a very bad guard, actually, because wolves are generally shy towards people. Another big difference is that dogs over time have been bred so that they get dependent to humans. This also means that they developed a so-called will to please, which means that a dog likes to obey because they like to please their human and also because they want a treat. Wolves are much more dependent than a dog. They can hunt their prey themselves. They can get food by themselves and they don't need a human. And this is why they don't have developed a will to please like dogs have. If you are asking a wolf to do something, maybe he will do it to get the treat. But if it's too difficult or if he just doesn't like doing it, he won't do it for a treat either. There are also physical differences between dogs and wolves. And we can check on Lupu which one of these he actually has himself. But let's do this on another day because it's already kind of dark. He's sleeping already and the dogs are barking a lot. Let's check out what characteristics we can find in Lupu. First of all, I want to say that for sure Lupu is not 50% of a wolf, or at least that's what I think, because there are not as many characteristics present in him than I would expect from a wolf hybrid. But during my researches, I have read also that it can be that a wolf hybrid has most characteristics from a dog and not from a wolf. First of all, let's check his eyes. It is said that a wolf has smaller eyes and that the eye color of wolves is most of time yellow. If I'm looking at Lupu's eyes, I don't really have the feeling that his eyes are smaller. Neither can we find the yellow color that is typical for a wolf. But what you can see is that his eyes are wet all the time. This could be a characteristic of a wolf, but of course dogs can also have this. Second characteristic that makes Lupu look like a wolf is his way to walk. You can see that when he's walking, he always has his head down and he has just a different way of walking than we can see usually in a dog. Then the third characteristic obviously is that Lupu is shy. And like I said before, and like almost everyone should know by now, is that wolves are shy animals. Then there's a difference with the teeth, but unfortunately Lupu is too shy, so I cannot open his mouth to check his teeth. Then it is said that a wolf 
has not that much of a round face than a dog has and that his ears have a different shape than dog's ears. Lupo doesn't have upright ears and again because of his shyness I am not able to check out his ears closely. It is said that there is a difference in the tail of a dog and a wolf. The tail of a wolf tends to be shorter and bushy. Meanwhile a dog can have very different shape of a tail. Then it is also said that wolves have longer toes. Can you see that Lupo has longer toes than your dog has? I'm not very sure about this, but maybe you can leave your opinion in the comments. Does your dog has any of these characteristics? Please let me know in the comments. It would be so interesting for me to hear that one of you also has a dog that could be a wolf hybrid. Okay, why did I choose to talk about Lupo? Because I am pretty sure that Lupo is not the only case. Because it would be too much of a chance if there would be only one wolfy breed and it would end up in this shelter. This also means that it can be that few Romanian dogs or even stray dogs in general have wolf blood somewhere in, inside of them. But even if not, we should not forget that every dog comes from a wolf at some point. And this also means that the wilder the dogs are becoming again because they are living on the streets away from human beings or in the fields the more of wild traits that we find in wolves we will find in those stray dogs if we are looking for example at romanian dogs we find a lot of the same traits than that are typical for a wolf for example romanian dogs i mean I'm not talking about every Romanian dog because it is impossible to generalize, but I'm talking about what I could see that we can find a lot in Romanian dogs. A lot of times they are very social beings, but that doesn't mean that they like every stranger dog that they meet. They are forming their pack and every new entry is being checked out and they are mistrusting everyone that is new. This also means that they are territorial, but in a different way than wolves are. Also, many Romanian dogs do have this shy side. They are a little shy, but unlike wolves, they tend to stand their ground against the danger, which means that they are not backing away, but rather barking and going towards the danger. Also, many Romanian dogs are big hunters and love to dig holes. I also noticed that many Romanian dogs don't have this will to please that we can find in a breed. They are more independent and generally they are very intelligent and can figure out puzzles very quickly. But of course we cannot compare a Romanian stray to a wolf because Romanian strays are still much 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 closer to domestic dogs than to wolves. They still have this closer relation to people and they generally love their human or humans they know. Even though they have developed strategies to survive on the street or in the wild, they still don't have the same abilities than a wild wolf. And then obviously we have the physics that are just the same than every domestic dog. Anyways, I believe that we should not forget that dogs are animals and every dog can bite. A dog that cannot bite does not exist. Maybe you have dogs that bite less quick than other dogs, but every dog can bite. And we should always keep this in mind. Also, I believe that we have to learn to accept their differences and to learn how to deal with them. Dogs integrate so much into our lives and we have to make a path towards them and accept them as what they are, animals. So this is it for this video. Thank you so much for staying with me. It was very difficult to film this video because the dogs were constantly barking. But I hope that you still liked it. I loved doing this video. It was so interesting and so educating. And I am excited to see you on my next video. If you like this video, please leave a like and leave in the comments what you would like to see in the next videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to support my cause, which is castrations. So if you want to do a donation, I will write the bank account just in the description bar below. Thank you so much and see you next time. Isn't that super cool and super interesting? Isn't it? Good morning. Now this also means that there's a possibility now this also means that there is a possibility that fe oh.